Hey guys, welcome back to the Midweek Escape Artist and today I'm going to answer a question I've received many, many, many times. And the question is relating to the solar stove Mesa and what to burn in it. <laughs> so today I've got my favorite little bits of hardwood kindling and I've also got some sort of very generic store-bought pellets. Now I've measured these out on my uh, Wakako scale to be exactly 500 grams. So there's 500 grams of each little bit and uh, we're going to see how long each one burns for, what they look like and how much of a slip it is to actually get it going. So without further ado, let's do it. Alright guys, so like I said, we've got the pellets and the wood and uh, we're going to start testing each one. I've got exactly 500 grams of each. We're going to see how long it burns for. And in order to do that, I am going to just use my trusty phone on a timer. And I'm going to put that up on the screen for you some way we can see it. And uh, we're going to see how long 500 grams of each of these fuel types lasts us in the solar stove mesa. So let's go. First up, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to do the pellets. So I've got the pellet burner that comes with the uh, solar stove mesa. And I've got myself a little bit of sort of fire starter. I've got two bits of this that weigh exactly the same amount. So it's not going to affect the results. So uh, let's light this bad boy up and we'll get going right in the middle there and then I'm going to put the burn ring over it now I'm going to start just putting some pellets in without losing too many of them <laughs> it's a bit of a pain here guys there we go I could have used a bigger receptacle but you know so what I've done is I've pretty much filled up the layer up to about the top of the pellet burner as instructed, as directed by the manufacturer. There we go. So I'll put the burner ring back on. And I'll just add these little bits and pieces that I've got. There we go. Cool, so we're going to wait for that to catch. I'll just... There we go. All right, I'm going to wait for this to catch and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll start the comparison. Cheers. All right guys, so we've been going for about 16, 15, 16 minutes now and not even half of the pellets have catched, have caught. Um, we're still burning just in the front here. I'm waiting for the flames to spread through. And that's one of the things I wanted to tell you about these pellets. Like they just don't catch properly. Um, and this is something I found universally with using pellets. Um, I've used quite a few different types. So these are just very, very basic grilling pellets. And uh, it's still the same thing. So the flames are starting to spread through a little bit now. And uh, I'll show you what the burn pattern looks like when it's fully caught. But yeah, we're, you know, 16 minutes in now. And I've used about, I'd say about half of the pellet so far. Now, so as you can see here, it's a very, very nice burn. It's very pretty, but it's not very efficient, in my opinion. It takes a while for it to catch. It doesn't burn very evenly, but it's very nice. It looks great. But yeah, so that's half of the pellets already in. So let's see, uh, let's see how this goes. All right guys, so we're like 21 minutes in now. It's looking a little better than it did. I think it's time to add a few more pellets. It's gonna give it a little bit of fresh fuel. Oh. So as you can see, the burn pattern is almost spread across the entire ring now. And it very much resembles a, uh, a kind of a large candle. A very large candle <laughs> but it's very nice um, as far as burn patterns go I prefer the burn pattern that I get from pellets 
and I think it's because it fills out the burn chamber very well. So all the gasification can happen at the top here, which produces a really nice clean flame. So it's very nice. I do like it a lot. But I mean, this has already died on me once. <laughs> it's, a, it's a schlep. And keeping it going over a long period of time is very, very difficult because as I'll show you in a bit, the burn chamber is almost at capacity already. And I haven't even used, you know, two thirds of the of the pellets yet and they're still there like they don't burn down as efficiently as uh, as normal wood but yeah i think we're finally getting going now just like what 25 minutes in <laughs> you make your own conclusion all right guys so we're proper 25 minutes in now i can see the entire burn chamber is lit everything's going super well as you can tell by the flame it is quite tall it's roughly about there it's a very tall flame. There's zero smoke. All the smoke is contained within the unit. I'm just gonna keep adding. So now, what you'll find is at this stage of the burn, you're gonna have to start adding fuel, you know, every couple of minutes. Every couple of minutes, otherwise it will die. Um, because what's happened now is because the pellets have filled out the burn chamber, the pellets that have already combusted are now at the bottom, which is stopping airflow from getting in to the rest of them. So the more pellets you add to this uh, to the burn chamber, the less efficient it burns. Which is, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Um, pellets just don't burn down as efficiently as uh, as normal wood, which I'll show you in a bit. But so now your entire life your entire job now becomes feeding this little this little animal you have created it's like having a small child but yeah <laughs> so if you're planning on you know having a dinner party and you wanted this going you know pellets are not the way i would go because you know if you did decide to do that you're going to be spending the next six or seven hours of your life slowly putting little handfuls of pellets into this thing to keep it going. And um, yeah, I just don't feel like it's an efficient use of my time. But hey, you know, we're almost through 500 grams and I'm going to keep this going and I'll keep showing you the timer. And yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it sort of starts burning down and when I've added all the pellets to it. Sweet. Alrighty guys, so we're 40 minutes in and I've added all of the pellets and it's just about on its last legs now. So 40 minutes for 500 grams of pellets. It was very nice for maybe the last third that it burned. And as you can see now, it dies very abruptly. Like if you're not watching this constantly, it's just going to go out and relighting it from this stage is challenging. <laughs> it's challenging because you add a whole bunch of pellets, you'll basically snuff the flame out and yeah, you'll have to put a new fire starter in like I had to do before. And yeah, so there we go. Um, it's pretty much at its end now. So let me just see what the time here is. So we're pushing 41 minutes and 30 seconds for 500 grams. There's still quite a fair bit of heat coming out. But yeah, no more flame. Flame's gone. It's just glowing on the inside now. So I want to say 42 minutes is, you know, what 500 grams of pellets will get you. Yeah, so... What's gonna happen now, I'm gonna wait for this to die out properly, I'll clean it out, and then we're gonna do the uh, hardwood. So uh, I'll bring you back for that. <laughs> Cheers, guys. 
It's exciting. guys so we just saw the pellets gave us 42 minutes of actual burn time now I was adding them individually in small little handfuls so I know what you're gonna say why don't you just add larger handfuls you know to save yourself a bit of time well let's test that out shall we so same thing as before I've got my little uh, fire starter here so what we're going to do this time, I'm going to be adding much larger amounts to it. I'll probably add, you know, half of that initially and then the other half in as well. And we'll see how long that, that lasts for and if there's any difference in uh, the flame pattern or, you know, the, uh, the pleasantness of the experience. So let's see. All right. So that's in there. Now I'm just going to start adding this. As you can tell, I'm adding quite a lot. There we go. So, we still have a flame in there. So, I've added probably about half of the uh, of the pellet straight away. It's just sort of above the uh, the the the, uh, the top of the um, fire starter protector thingy. So um yeah, let's see if this actually lights and if there's uh, any significant difference to the experience. It's very smoky right now. Ugh. Okay, guys, so we're five minutes in. Everything is lit now properly. It's going. Um, there was a lot of smoke to begin with initially. Um, so if you're adding a lot in at the start, prepare there to be <laughs> plenty of smoke but what you can do is just try to light that smoke that's the whole point of the second burn chamber and the secondary burn that the mesa has you can just try and light the smoke and it should just catch so i hope you guys saw me do that i'll try to put it in the video for you <laughs> but yeah so five and a half minutes in and it's going pretty well i'm not sure when i'll add the second light i'll probably add it in when the whole top has been, you know, has at least caught nicely. And then uh, we'll add in maybe half of that and then put in half again. And we'll see how long all of that lasts. All right. Cool. All right, guys. So I think it's time. Let me just tell you what the time is right now. Right now we're at eight minutes, so I'm gonna add like that much. There we go. So first lot went in, and then eight minutes later I put another lot in. And as you can see now, the flames are quite low just because there's a whole bunch of new fuel in there. So let's see what that does. Let's give it a minute or two. Oh, it's already, it's already going. All right, let's give it a minute and I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so we're like 14 minutes in now. I'm gonna add another little bit. About the same quantity as before, maybe a little less. So that's my second uh, second refilling. So initially, and then at eight minutes, and now again at 14. So let's see. All right, guys, 18 minutes in. I have to do another little refill. As you can see, the flames are quite low. I hope it doesn't die. <laughs> this is what it normally does when you do pellets. It dies very, very easily and quickly. So let's hope that catches. Seems like it will. All right, so that's 18 minutes. So 18 minutes and I've already almost used all of the pellets. So is it better or not? Like, <laughs> you be the judge. Okay, it does look like it's catching again. So I'll bring you back when all the pellets are in and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right guys, we're 24 minutes in and I'm gonna add the last of the pellets. So let's see how long 
this burns for. Um, I, I had to add pellets sort of every six minutes, between five to seven minutes, somewhere in there I had to add pellets. I've done it five times, so it's still, still a significant amount of work. If you add more than that at a time, you'll snuff out the flame. So, you know, adding little handfuls is probably, you know, somewhere between adding little handfuls and adding what I did today, that's probably where you want to be. Um, once again, I don't think pellets is the most efficient way of using this guy. But uh, yeah, so let's see how long this burns for until the flame dies. And uh, I'll bring you back for that. Cool. Alrighty guys, so we're at 33 minutes and the flame is just about to die. So, this is 10 minutes shorter than adding little handfuls of pellets. So, and oh, there we go. Flame's completely gone now. So, it burned for 10 minutes shorter. It was roughly the same amount of work. And, you know, <laughs> this, in my opinion, was definitely worse than adding little bits of handfuls. So yeah, there you go. Pellets, two ways. Um, neither way, I think, will beat the wood, which I will show you in a second. I'm just gonna let this cool off and let, uh, uh, let everything cool off, let the chamber cool down, empty it all out, and then we'll start again with hardwood. And um, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like. And I feel, I have a suspicion, we're gonna get a lot more time out of that one. So yeah, let's see how we go. All right guys, we're back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna light this little fire starter and then we're gonna add some of the hardwood and we're gonna see how long that goes for. So I'm gonna start the timer as I did before. There we go. Now, the key to this is you wanna start relatively demurely. So I've got three in there right now, sort of upright so they can catch nicely. And uh, we'll see how long 500 grams will last us. Let's do it. So guys, as you can see, we're one minute in and it's already going. It's already doing well. The wood's kind of already sort of starting to catch. And that's from one little bit of fire lighters as well. Now, this is store-bought kindling um, I don't know what to call it it's all different kinds of wood so you know I always buy it at the same place I always get the same stuff I don't know what your situation is where you live if you'll be able to get the same thing but from my experience I mean look at this that we're a minute and 40 seconds in and it's going perfectly well that's phenomenal so I might add one more little bit now so there's a total of four bits of wood in there. And uh, yeah, let's see how we go. <laughs> exactly two minutes in. And we're happy. Cool, sweet. Alright guys, so what you can notice from this flame, and we're, let me just tell you what we're at. So we're at six minutes right now. So as you can tell from the flame, it's not as tall as the pellets, but it's much more intense. Um, and I've added, so far, I've only added four bits of wood to that. So I think we're just about ready for another one. So now a total of five bits. There we go. As far as the burn pattern goes, it doesn't fill out the entire burn ring like it did with the pellets, but it's just as nice. It really is. There's still no smoke, everything is contained. It still gives the same sort of feeling, but it is significantly less work. <laughs> you don't have to watch this. You can let it go for a bit, maybe five, 10 minutes at a time, add a little block of wood and you're good to go. So in my opinion, this already beats the hell out of pellets, but we'll see how long this wood lasts. Like I said, it's also 500 grams of wood versus 500 grams of pellets. So let's see how long this goes for. But man, 
it's already a lot easier <laughs> I've got to tell you uh, so right now we are uh, we are seven and a half minutes in so I'll bring you back at like the 20 minute mark and I'll show you what that looks like Sweet. Alrighty guys, so we're about 30 minutes in now. Now I've got five little blocks of wood left and it's been going really, really, really well. Um, as you can tell by the flame pattern, it's not as tall, it's not as pretty, but it's much more efficient. Um, I'm able to add wood whenever I like. Like the burn chamber just empties out, all the ash falls down. Um, I might add this one now. It is a much more pleasant experience. And I haven't had to add wood nearly as frequently as I had with the pellets. Um, and it just keeps going. It like looks after itself. And then whenever it occurs to you, have a look and add one more block of wood. It is as simple as that. So we're going to keep going with this. And I will bring you back when we're just about at the end of the wood. And I'll show you what that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it. I think it's fantastic. What a nice way to spend the afternoon. Um, yeah, any thoughts, any comments, please put them in the comment boxes below for me. And if you like this sort of content, if you'd like to make more of these sorts of videos, uh, why not give us a like and a subscribe? It really means the world to me. And yeah, I will uh, bring you guys back when uh, all the wood's in and we can take it from there. Sweet. All right, guys, we're 45 minutes in now. Third little block's going in, got two left, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so far, it's, uh, this runs exactly the same as the first lot of pellets I showed you, but we've got two blocks left, flame is still going, third one just went in there, so I think we've got some time. So it's already a lot more efficient than the pellets, but yeah, let's see how we go. <laughs> All right guys, so we are, 51 minutes in, second last block is going in right now. Oh, you know what? Actually, I might just put the last one in. So there we go. All the wood's in. We're going to see how long this burns for until there's no more flame visible. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you back for that. <laughs> Whew, what a day. Oh. All right, guys. Wow. We're at an hour and five minutes right now. <laughs> I think this is just about to go out. It hasn't gone out yet. There's still some flames visible, but I thought I'd just give you guys a little chat while this is going on. So you guys know how much I love the Solo Stove Mesa. It's a beautiful little piece of kit. It's uh, really fantastic for car camping when you're going by yourself or with a friend or, you know, a couple of people. It's a no-brainer, really, and they do have the Solo Stove Mesa XL now, which is a little bit bigger, so you can fit more stuff into the brain chamber. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what they retail for at the moment. This is not a video about the Mesa itself. I think what I would like you to get away from this video is, you know, pellets are convenient. They're easy to pack. They're easy to carry. It's very easy to put a bag of pellets in your car. You don't have to do anything with them. You can just add stuff. It's totally fine. The hardwood is a little more work to work with. You've got to prep it. You've got to get it to the right size and all of that sort of stuff. But it works so much better. For that little bit of extra effort you're going to put in, you're going to get significantly longer burn times with almost exactly the same flame pattern. So in my opinion, hardwood's the way to go. If you do want to use pellets, by all means, go for it. There's nothing wrong with it. You're just going to have to make, you know, a little more effort to keep it going. But, um, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. So, man, <laughs> it's not even dead yet. We're, <laughs> uh, we're almost at an hour and 10 minutes on 500 grams of wood. So, you know, from an efficiency perspective, I think it's hard to beat. Anyway, any questions, pop them in the comments below and um, hopefully I will see you guys for the next review. Oh, by the way, camping next week, 
it's going to be an interesting one so stay tuned for that one and in that video there'll be a code word where you can win some of my merch if you like it and uh i'll tell you more about that later on thanks guys have a lovely weekend wherever you are i hope it's awesome and uh i'll see you again soon cheers bye